Hey guys, welcome back to the Handlebar Podcast, season four. Um, we are having crazy conversations and the Lord is showing up and we're excited to get into another question. We have a guest with us. Um, she's incredible. And honestly, sitting at this table, I'm so, so glad to have like a mother with us Mm -hmm. and the wisdom that she carries. It's Larissa Miller. What's we up? love Yay. you. Yes. We didn't say this on the last episode, but something I wanted to say about Larissa is she makes mean bread. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Bread nice bread. Nice, yeah, nice bread. No, nice bread. No, you're be you're in on another level. It's another no. level. It's another level. <laughs> the lower level. <laughs> like the that, yeast that, level. Yeah. 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 No, it's so good. <laughs> it is so let good. it rise. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, let it rise. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Are we going to so draw? So should we get into the question? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just keep thinking like she's ba- she baked four kids. Like she's like, I, I can use yeast now. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I don't need to do all that sourdough stuff every day. <laughs> okay. I'm going to draw. Congratulated. Okay. Drum drum roll. Roll. Oh. Okay. The question is from Hannah in Sacramento, California. Hi, Hannah. And the question is, what is a healthy way to relate to social media? Oh. Oh, no. Social, social. That is the question. Shit. Is there one? <laughs> I don't know. All That's right. why we have you here with us, Lisa. Timer started now. <laughs> wow. We're about to observe a major generation gap. That's true. Uh, Should we talk about it? Maybe. <laughs> I love Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> just oh my god! Kidding. Larissa's gonna pass her us through MySpace. Wait, that was my first social media. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, what is what would it be profile? Would it be MySpace? MySpace. Yeah, with oh, your top wow. ten. Mm-hmm. And then, but at the time, I was in middle school, so if your top ten changed, like the next day at school was rough. And <laughs> wow, why'd I was allowed top to have MySpace. I don't even know what this is. What you don't know about MySpace? No, it was done by the time I was Whoa. in the game. <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! But I mean, I know what it is. My older brother had you one. You never had it. No, I wasn't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't into it. I wasn't either, Rafi. I can. Relate. I'm also still. I'm just not into it now. Still, so that's true. You don't You're have not on social, social media, media actually. No. I, I've wow. heard you joke before and say you'll see me on social media more on Aaron's page than my 100%, own. Hundred percent. Yeah. And well, because you're just, I haven't posted in like five years. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I'll Can post you? about our podcast. I'm yeah. like, here's Robbie Bray. You yeah. Know. And I still, that, the, the thing is, I never deleted my Instagram because I always had this thing of like, I want to go on and see if someone messaged me. So every three months, I'll see if someone sent me a message and <laughs> I, I, people still tag me and stuff, but I do not use it. I go, like I go on my computer. I never put the app on my phone. Anyway. Tell us about okay, that. Tell, yeah, yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. why. Because once again, here you, you can't are just say that. doing something different <laughs> what, than us. Can, like, do you mind sharing how old you are? I'm 25. Okay. That's just, it's a good grid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone to know I'm, who's I'm talking. Z, yeah. Actually. Yeah. Are yeah. you? Um, yeah. Oh. I'm like the end, like the beginning of You're the beginning of Gen Z. You are yeah. mature 25. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, social media, like why I got off. Yeah. Why aren't you on social media? Yeah. Oof, what I, caused you to make that decision say, and then can keep that decision? Well, I mean, old, like originally it was literally just because I noticed my heart doing things that I was not into. Like I would see my friend, like when stories first came out, that was when that was literally when I got rid of like it. Like comparison? It was not even comparison. It was like FOMO hard. Oh, yeah. Like it would be like if I was sitting with you guys and you said, we went to this restaurant, like we went to the city the other night. We had so much fun. I'd be like, awesome. Amazing. But if I saw it on a story, <laughs> my heart would be like, why didn't they invite me? And I was <laughs> like, so true. I don't, I'm not like that. Something about this platform is like, is actually bringing that out of me. And so that was the first thing that was weird. Then just like the whole, I noticed like if I got more likes, I was more happy. And I was like, this is weird too. And then um, also just the whole explore page was like a gateway into everything I didn't want in my life. Yeah. And it almost, it felt like it knew how to take advantage of like. It does. Right. Well, I did. Right. (laughs) Uh, No, I know (laughs) that's how they designed it. But at the time I was just kind of like, they know how to like get me yeah. into Scary. something. Like they start with this and then it turns into this. And, and I'm like, or you told someone like, I want a blueberry smoothie. And then you look well, on your now, explore page yeah. and there's blueberry smoothies. From the, from the time when Terrifying. I got off social media to now, it's bad. It's a whole, there's ads in there now. I, and I mean, they're just like blatantly like it's a whole new ball. Game. And I think now like I'm, I'm reading this book and, in, and in the book, 
he talks about how like Sean Parker, who was the first CEO of Facebook, is now like doesn't let any of his kids use social media or devices and is like has a petition and a thing where all these executives in Silicon Valley are are creating a a deviceless school for their kids because they know how bad it is. Should we move to Silicon Valley? Well, what's crazy is all these people are the ones who created it. That is And they don't want the, it's like, they know, it's like the drug dealer knowing I'm not going to eat for my own supply. Yeah, Yeah, it's like so crazy. And so that, I want to say this because I don't think it's completely bad and I have friends that use it so well yeah. And it brings so much life into their life. I believe there's so much good stuff that can happen. Um, and I didn't make my decision off of all that knowledge. I made a decision because I noticed my heart personally was yeah. doing stuff that I didn't want. And I, I didn't think it'd be forever. So I got rid of it and I just haven't wanted it again. You just feel free. That's so, been how many years at this point? Five, almost six years. I was okay. 19. So you were 19 when yeah. you got off. I was 19. When I got off Instagram, I was already not using Facebook, but that's normal. Did it help you? (laughs) Like, did it help with those feelings? Did it help with the temptation? Did it? Totally. I love that. I I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I love that. Like when someone gets engaged, I don't always know until I see them. I'll see a ring and I'm like, did you get engaged? Yeah. Yeah, Or like when they had a baby, you had a baby. (laughs) And it's like, I noticed that doesn't happen anymore. That's true. Like everyone uh, already knows. So you just walk in and they're like casual. I don't, they already know. Like it takes away that. I'm sure when you got engaged, mm-hmm. like some people knew. But <laughs> there then was there, no smartphone. Yeah. There's people that <laughs> you had follow to make you now. Calls. Yeah. That wouldn't have known Mm-mm. until you saw them. Totally. And then you got that experience every time, probably hundreds of times yeah. where it was like, yes, I'm. Yes. Getting married or yeah, you know. So yeah. it's like, I think we don't always realize how we're trading that whole human interaction for like a comment. Wow. Mm. That's, yeah. That is so true. It's just wow. kind of thoughts of why I, why I made that decision. I have read articles around how social media apps today are designed. The term is to get, that you get dopamine. Yes. Like a dopamine Oh, hit. they it's, know. They know you like better how, than you like know Internally, you. like it, to chemically give you a rise and, mm-hmm. and it keeps the you addicted. Colors, the, the way colors. it's set yeah. up, the what they're showing you. It's so crazy. The colors. I think of Coco Melon. We're no. in the season of Coco Melon. That is demonic. With That's our TikTok for children. But social media is like adult <laughs> Coco so, Melon. I don't like Coco That is true. <laughs> yeah. Coco Melon is very few and far TikTok between TikTok in our is adult household. Coco Melon. Yes. It's it does like, the same ah, thing to us Rosie that Coco knows, Melon does to toddlers. She knows before like a nap time or bedtime, it's off, off limits. But she's like, Coco Melon? And I'm like, no, we're not watching Coco Melon right now. It's overstimulating. It's addicting. Yeah. Okay, it's but weird. I want to say this is not, social media. It is this like is not social the media. question, though, because I I feel like I'm almost like I can't super talk about the question because I don't have social media <laughs> and it's it and all. it's what is a healthy yeah. relationship? Okay, okay. okay. true. Okay. Let's bring okay. it back. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Lo? Uh, guys, I would love to hear from Larissa. I I I have had a love hate relationship with it because I too don't like things that have come up in my heart. I feel like that's uh, I'm. I'm pretty much past that now because I just would unfollow anyone when I saw yuck come up in my heart, whether it was uh, a comparison or like I need to have that or mm-hmm. or I should or I, yeah, it's like, wait a minute, where's the spirit of God speaking to me and not this person's narrative? Um, well, so I, so that would be, I mean, yeah, we could talk about that. But I think, um, I think now it's just like, well, how, how can the gospel go forth? Cause like I'm wearing a, y'all can see me. Yes. I'm wearing a Jesus clubs hat and um, our friends with one voice student ministries and Jesus clubs, they like during COVID they were, I mean, kids were getting saved like crazy through TikTok, through yeah. yes. like lives. Kids were baptizing themselves in their bathtubs, like giving their lives to Jesus. So I think that there's something to be said for totally. it's, it's use. It 100%. I think, I thought I think of it like when Jesus said you can't serve God and mammon. Oh yeah. That if this is an idol or a god to you, then you you cannot be using it. But if it can serve just like money in and of itself, not good, not oh. bad, very useful. But like when it becomes God, um yeah. it will kill you. 
And so I just like the same thing is true of social media. And Maybe it's like seasonal for some people. Like if right. it's, if it's an idol to you right now, I know it has been for me, yeah. then like fast it for a while, get rid of it for a while and then see mm-hmm. what happens. Maybe you'll be like Rafi and you won't want it back. Or mm-hmm. maybe the Lord will ask you to get it back and use it for the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a heart check thing. Mm-hmm. I think. I, I love I, how you said it too. It's like it, it's like, it's like it exposed Something that was already there. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. And so in that mm. way, it's like almost like the Holy Spirit could have been using it. To say, hey, Larissa, this is in you. Yes. And I want, I don't want it to be in you. Yes. I want to, yeah. Then like, what do you do with that? And you said you would unfollow. I would unfollow. Yeah. I mean, I like, or even like for me, a big thing that came up in me, which I know I've dealt with in my life is being judgmental. So I would be looking at someone's uh-huh. feed, just judging the heck out of them. You know, like, hey, young young yeah. woman, if in the you are in Starbucks, your like, stream bikini up, posting woman. scriptures, <laughs> I get so fired up. I will like, too. Put I your too. clothes on and stop. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, but whatever. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that's not whoever sent that question. <laughs> um, but I, I like, yeah. So I was like, oh, this is ugly in my heart. So I would like practice looking at a page and blessing someone oh, and praying no. for them. I would, <laughs> so, and now I, now I, I'm in a place where it just doesn't carry much um, energy to it for me at all. And I, but I would like to use it for the Lord, hmm. you know, and to yeah. keep in touch with my friends. What, like what a vision one voice. I just feel yeah. like it's powerful. They're amazing. What they've done with it is they're mm-hmm. like, you look at social media and see all that. And I do. Into a I see all field. the nasty. They are mission but field. they saw it as so the gospel will be wow. preached. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's like, amazing. that makes me want to get a TikTok. Yes. It does. Like when I see them, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I will. Like, yeah. Cause they just redefined it. So, well, I think too, like there's probably people listening that are in all different seasons of life. Like you may yeah. be a young millennial um, or Gen Z or that's single and has a lot of time and, or you might be a young mom like I am or a mom to like almost Mm preteens like Larissa is. And I think that a healthy way to relate to it is asking yourself the question, is this stealing me from the present moment? Mm -hmm. Is it stealing me from being present with um, my kids or my spouse or my friends? Or am I, you know, in a group of people hanging out, but I'm just on my phone the whole time. I know that I have done that. And really that's me saying like, I would rather be looking at these other people's lives than being here with you right now. Mm, 100%. Or really it's like, well, the thing is that because it's releasing dopamine, it's actually like- I'm coping. You're using yourself Mm -hmm. in a sense. Like, yeah. Yeah. I know I, I can, get, I do it a lot when, with yourself, when I need to yeah. turn my mind off or I need to veg, you know, exactly. and I've been practicing something, which I guess this is more of a handlebar, but I'll just go ahead and say it. I've been practicing. I'm uh, nursing my baby boy right now. He's eight months old. So every time I'll go to nurse him, which is a lot, I will try to read a book instead of get on my phone mm-hmm. because I know that even if I plan to read a book on my phone or the Bible, it probably won't happen. I'll probably get on Instagram. Oh. So I've been like reading fiction. Whoa, Books. crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just helped me. I know my grandma said something to me. She's like, you used to like to read. And I was like, hey, Aww. you're right. At first I was offended. And then I was like, I should read again. So I'm reading books and it's just, it's helping me like not compare. It's helping me open my mind to, you know, something that's not actually taking from me and producing a fake Uh effect or a fake like drug-like feeling you know another thing I've done is um it's not on grayscale right now but I'm I'm gonna do it right after this is put my phone on grayscale (laughs) have you guys heard of that yeah you can go and so I think a healthy way to relate the dopamine it's like yeah I do that yeah you just don't want to look at it it and you're just like yeah (laughs) yeah yeah like when can I get off this yeah it's true you're like yeah and then Rosie picked it up the other day because I can see it in in both my kids now but they just grab it and stare at it like yeah. Cocomelon. And what like, about oh when it's gosh. gray? Do the, does she do the same no, thing? No, I was going to say she wow. looks at it and she's like, Ugh, what is okay, this? Okay, okay. Take down. that idea for just a minute okay. and think about what we were created to look at that is that vibrant. Oh, wow. Like what we wow. were. Think about what's happening in the throne room that is like wow. chock full of color. And oh my gosh. sounds and, and like a sensory created. overload. Yes. It's like how we're wired. It's and like why the like angels are always singing yeah. holy, holy, holy. It's like almost they're just, like they're it's getting almost dopamine. Like it's yes. like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. That's crazy. 
And it's this almost is like, like a this fake is playing on that yep. desire, mm -hmm. but it's so not even close. That is so okay. Good. I wanted to I say this like for the uh, the young pastor, the young adult pastor, the youth pastor, the mm -hmm. young millennial. I'm 29, so the ones that can relate to me that you're a young leader in the church and you have a relationship with yes. social media that you're trying to have a healthy one where mm -hmm. I can feel the tension of wanting to put content out because I want people to see it and be encouraged. Mm -hmm. But then also you can get caught up in the likes and the follows mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I have written in my Bible, I had a day where I really encountered God around this and I wrote it in the back of my Bible on the little white in flat page. But I wrote this down. I wrote, my influence does not determine my intimacy and my following does not determine my anointing. And, and it's that phrase has helped, helped remind me that social media does not, uh, is not eternal. It's helped remind me that uh, no matter how many people comment or say, oh. you know, oh, we love this or it's so good, so encouraging, that that is not uh, growing my relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's not growing my intimacy. That's not growing my, my relationship with Him one-on-one. -on -one. And it's helped me separate the two. It's helped me mm -hmm. see social media for what it really is. Because I think, of, I think of 1 Samuel 18. It was a scripture I wrote down when um, the people are saying, uh, Saul has killed his thousand, uh, but oh. David tens of thousands. Yeah. And Saul is so triggered by that. And I feel like for, for me, that verse that has been a social. modern day, <laughs> but like social media, like wow. that was their social media of the day. Like, well, well Saul has 1,000, but David has 10,000. Like and I think of, singing it. Yeah. yeah, I think of, there's our timer, but I think of friends that I have who I, I remember I didn't have the K and the followers. The K is like, once you hit 10,000, oh, you the K. But then I, I had friends who did and I'm so triggered. Like, well, they must, God wow. loves them more. Or like God was wanting to deal it with things in my really heart. Gnarly. And oh, then the boy. day came where I got the K and I realized nothing in my life changed. And then I was there's like, absolutely let's nothing make different dinner about and my give life. our kids a bath and put them to bed and wipe some booze. Yeah, and you realize like, gosh, this is just first time <laughs> 18 look playing at me any yeah, differently she's today. Not she's not like, oh, you got You're the like, K. Oh, I got baby. a K. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's like, she was like, okay, like what's yeah. so special about it, you know? I was like, make sure your head can fit through the door. Yeah, right. she, she did tell me that actually. <laughs> she has told me that one before. Wow. Oh. Um, but I just wanted to say that, that if you are a young preacher and you're posting preaching clips and, you know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, don't do that. Like, no, like yeah. social media can be a mission field, but put it in its rightful place. Like mm -hmm. it's not, e it's not eternal. Um, yeah. It's but your good. relationship with him is your intimacy yeah. with him yeah. is. And, mm -hmm. and social media is social media. It's public. It's in the public eye. And just reminding you, like, you know, if you're not like Rafi and you're more like me and you do have <laughs> social media, that that it's okay, but yeah. but fight for the secret, fight for the mm -hmm. intimacy, fight for mm -hmm. for that. And don't let the public social media steal you from that. So we yeah. can jump into handlebars unless anybody has a final thought. No, but. I'll go first. Um I think I have two. These are two things I'm practicing currently. Uh the first one is leave your smartphone in the kitchen overnight and let the first thing you look at in the morning be the Lord and the last thing you look at at night be him um, and buy an alarm clock, an actual alarm clock. Or if you have Alexa, she can set an alarm. Ours it's weird. I said she, um, anyway, leave your phone in another room because uh, I know for me, I was scrolling social media early in the morning and late at night. And it was stealing a lot of things. Sleep. I don't even think it's, it's not good for you to look at that before you go to sleep. Um, or when you wake up. Or when you wake up. So leave your phone in another room. Thought I had another one, but I'll leave it at that. It's practical. And that's harder. I just want to say that's harder when you're not married because no pillow talk. That's but true. It's still <laughs> possible. Hey, but pillow since talk she started Jesus. doing that, our pillow talk <laughs> next level. has gone up. Before it was like, hey, like you want to chat? You want to tell me about your day? Yeah. And yeah. It's true. Yeah. Aww. There is a great app um, that, oh, shoot. What is his name? I think Eldridge, John Eldridge. Oh. Yes. Okay. P um, does called Pause. And there's a morning meditation and evening meditation. So I do have my phone by me because it's go. like- Sometimes I need to be gotten a hold of True. by older family members or whatever. Um, but I will fall asleep to that an evening meditation, it's just scriptural meditation. Mm. But anyway, that's a little hint. But I'll say See, this is why Larissa's is here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love it. It can look totally different for it two can, people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I think a heart check, just a regular heart check, why am I doing this and what is it doing for me um, is really important. And then, um, I forgot what my other one was. I remember my other one. Oh, okay. My other one was in the moments where you want to scroll social media or like veg out. What I've been practicing is when I have that desire, I've realized that it's actually, it's either I'm scrolling social media or I'm like in tune with the Holy Spirit's voice. And for Mm -hmm. me right now, there's not really an in-between. If I'm really scrolling and I'm just on it all the time, I'm not really aware of what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And so in those moments where I really want to do that, I've been asking him, what are you saying? Will you speak to me? Will you quiet my heart and speak to me so I can hear your voice louder than my phone? Mm -hmm. So that's my other one. Yeah. Yeah. I think the heart check can be simplified just by Jesus came to give life and life abundant. And, Mm. and, but the thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. So it's easy to filter like what is, what's going on when I am on this? Is it for life or for, you know, death? That's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you give a handlebar? I haven't yet. Okay. Um, My handlebar is I do this. I, I, the social media app I primarily use is Instagram, but I don't follow anybody on Instagram that I don't personally know. That's been a handlebar for me because in season past when I have followed either other preachers or other, uh, just people that I don't know, I can feel the invitation for comparison to sit in. And so that's been something that has helped me guard my heart is Mm -hmm. not following someone that I, I don't personally know, or I'm not personally walking with. And so, um, that helps me. Maybe that will help you. Um, that's my handlebar. You remember? I thought of one. Oh. I think this is actually really important. Um, on that note, p- one of the things that can be very dangerous that I've actually seen people fall prey to is getting instant messages um, from people you don't know and they fall into a immoral relationship with oh, that yes. person because it's like another, it's like a back door to a wow. connection. It's not like a straight text or, yeah. but it's like a back door. It's like a, just a cute little comment yeah. on something, a story or something. And then you respond and then they respond and they and respond. Sudden, and I know someone who had an affair and is divorced now because they went down wow. that path with that person. Wow. And so easily can things you just, the, the, the enemy's prowling like a lion. Yes. Mm. So don't, just don't, in, just don't do that. Especially if you're opposite. <laughs> just sex. don't. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what your flavor is. Yeah. You know. I do think it. this one, <laughs> this one's, yeah. it, it's a little hard for me to give one about social media because I'm just not in the <laughs> thick of it every day, but I feel like I can, we also talk about phones. How, how would you give a so, handlebar to someone who's listening to you say, I'm not on social media for six years. And they go, I would love to do that, but I that can't. speaks to me. Yeah. I could never do that. Oh yeah. Because gosh. you know, there's that, there's that thought of like yeah. the addiction to social media is yeah. real to where it's like, I, I would love to do that. I think if you say you can't. How would you, how would you encourage someone you to like, need, hey, it's like possible. you need help from someone. <laughs> if like, you're telling me you have a problem. Yeah. And, and social media is as addictive as anything else. It provides That's as much mean. dopamine as anything else. Mm-hmm. It's very like, it can be very dangerous it can be very fru- yeah like totally raw in the same way video games can in the same way really high anything that like, becomes food, an idol food yeah mm-hmm. like any any of this stuff can be so if you're telling me like i can't then you're telling me it's your master mm-hmm. and i i actually wrote down that i think social media is a really great servant and a terrible master that's good and mm. and you can i know that that feeling is real of like this thing owns me Mm -hmm. Um, and I would just challenge you to open, open up with someone about it. If you, if you're really like, I want to stop, but I can't do something, do something brave, delete it off your phone, use the restrictions to prevent you from being able to redownload it for a season, give away your phone, get one of those light phones, get a razor. Yeah. Like, like do it's worth it. This is your, this is your (laughs) mind and your heart and your soul and your relationship with the Lord. It's worth it. And that goes beyond social media, but Mm -hmm. anything that you're like addicted to, you don't have to feel shame at all. It's like the second that you step into the light is the second that you will remember that, like that shame was lying to you. Mm -hmm. So it's way better on the other side as far as that goes. Um, 
But I think just as far as like a healthy relationship with your phone, I think a good sign is, can you turn it off? And I know with moms, there's different stuff there. Mm -hmm. But especially if you're someone my age, try turning your phone off. Like try turning your phone off for a day. It's so good. It's Mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. So, so good. I remember when I was in, I've talked about this before, I think, but when I was in Israel, one of our tour guides, Friday, 5 p.m., turned his phone off. And I was like, did you just turn your phone off? And he goes, yeah, every week for 24 hours. And I was like, Amazing. It's a good handle. And I'm just like, that's my goal. Because, and ever since I've done it, whether there's something about turning it off, Mm -hmm. I don't have the option anymore. It's off. That is just this freeing, like, well, what do I do now? And you'll discover (laughs) Mm -hmm. you're way more like creative. creative. You're way more fun. You can talk about things more. (laughs) Like, it's like, you can hold a conversation. Yeah. Like, you know more things than it's just crazy what happens when. I remember you telling me that and and God. like thinking, man, I want to do that. So for me, the baby step was an hour a day. And yeah. I've been doing dinner. When we do dinner yeah. as a family, I turn my we phone We made off. a song about it. And Rosie so that sings we can it. Remember. Yeah. And it, it's. She it, sings it. Do you want to sing it? Phones away and screens turned off. Family, family time, time, family time, family time. Family time. <laughs> and and <laughs> Rosie, Rosie gets so excited. Phones away, time. screens turned off. <laughs> and and, and we ordered a too. bell. We have a dinner bell. So we'll Aww. ring it and that's when phones well, it's, and it's screens when phones go, go off. off. Screens you guys go are off. cute. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so Handlebar for you parents out there. You yeah, can be as cheesy as that if you want. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good servant, bad master. That's a great That's really say. good. Yeah. If it's your master, talk to someone who can help you and get, get serious about it. Yeah. Mic drop. All right. We love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. <laughs>